Third down is where things really start to get fun in Jay Bateman's defense. Let's take a look at another example of the sort of thing that we're going to see at North Carolina in 2019. Note here that <laughs> this is third and 15. Look at the line of scrimmage. Who's blitzing? Who's dropping? Who's playing what position? It's not clear, and that's exactly what Bateman wants you to see. Even in the secondary, it's not 100% clear what, what coverage you're looking at. This looks like a potential two-shell, but he can walk down. He could walk back. He looks like he might be playing inside leverage. He might be playing head up or outside. It's not clear what's going on. I might you know, guess maybe a, a quarters look, maybe a robber look. So he's, he's forcing the, the, the defense to, to guess a little bit here or the offense to guess a little bit. Now, at the snap, notice four guys rush. Everybody else is peeling off, and right away you're getting that safety dropping down. You've got a robber look, and when he doesn't see any threat to the middle of the field, what does he do? He gets back over top, does his job, and there's nothing there in terms of coverage. Now, I want to look one more time at the inside of this, because this is what an offensive line is going to see. This looks like you're about to get a six-man blitz. Like they're bringing everybody up front, and you better, be, you better be prepared to take all those gaps. And all of a sudden, you don't know who's dropping and who's not. These two drop, and you have a full twist from the B gap to the B gap. Uh, from this guy here and this guy here are going to interchange. That is a massive twist to create problems up front. And look at what happens at the line. They're trying to switch off. This creates a ton of communication issues. And be because you've got these guys here, that actually prevent protects it against a run up the middle. If, if, if you're going to try to gash that kind of stunt up the middle, which is what you normally would do, they've got the two backers in the middle to protect against that. Buffalo actually does a really good job up front of protecting here, but they have to, in order to, to defend, in order to, to uh, block four guys, they wind up keeping what six guys in. That means you've got a big time numbers advantage in the secondary, and there's just no place to go with the football. That's Jay Bateman third down defense at its finest.